Hey guys, this is JDB with Alice Jamming, and today we're going to be looking at the two other modes of the chord bot by Isla Instruments. First, let's look at the polyphonic mode. So when we turn on our chord bot, we're greeted with the screen. We need to enter play mode, and we do that by pressing the first encoder. Next, we're going to hold Alt and F4 to enter polyphonic mode. As the name implies, in this mode, we can play our notes polyphonically, which means more than one note at a time. The buttons to the left take the role of a chromatic keyboard. For some reason, the volume is a lot lower when using these, but we can't forget this is still in beta, so there's a few kinks that still need to be addressed. In this mode, we can save our chords by manually entering them. To save a chord, press one of the 12 memory pads, shift, then play the chord you wish to save. We can also use inversions of each chord in this mode as well. We can play the buttons and keyboard simultaneously, which is a nice touch. Now let's look at diatonic strum mode. Once we're in play mode, we're going to hold Alt and F3. In diatonic strum, we have all the same features we did on diatonic mode, but we used a strip instead of the keyboard. If you haven't seen my video on diatonic mode, don't forget to check that out. I'll put the link below. The strip is pretty sensitive, but it responds better to actual strums than to presses. There's also a few things I would like to address in this video about the chord bot that people have been messaging me about. Things about build quality, is it sturdy? Some people have been complaining about housing issues, that it's not mounted properly. With mine, I haven't had any problems. The housing is mounted perfectly. All the issues that I have had are software based. And like I said, it's still in beta version, so that's expected with this product. For the price and for what it does, it really is a unique piece. There's really nothing else like it in the market, but it is made of plastic. So if you're expecting like a metal built heavy item, this isn't it. But I will say it does have a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. So nothing to fear there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial on the cord bot. Stay tuned for other tutorials on more gear. Catch you later.